Well, g'day and welcome to Quick Tip 33. Um, this week I attended a really interesting um, discussion around open education resources, or OER, and I think it's an area of education that I'm particularly excited about. Um, perhaps we need to start with the um, description of what OER is, and I'll turn to Wikipedia to help there. So OER are uh, digital materials that can be reused for teaching, learning, research and more, made available for free through open licenses. So really the spirit here is that education is a fr um, and educational resources are given away free by the content developer. Perhaps the most well-known example of this is the Open MIT model, where uh, much to their great credit, I might say, they've recognised that in fact it's not the content that draws students to, a, to an educational facility, it's the teaching and learning, and it's a qualification at the other end. And so what they do indeed is to give their materials away free of charge to the general community. But students have continued to be attracted to the organisation, perhaps even more so now. It's become a really good branding and marketing tool for them. So um, I'm going to show you a number of OER collections today. I'm not going to spend any great detail showing you how to navigate any of them. Most of them are fairly easy to navigate and I'll be sending around links to each of the resources I show you now. Um, but often they're, as you see here, organised into discipline areas. You can click in and find the resources available there. They can be a wide variety of resources from lecture recordings to screencasts, as this is a screencast, um, to resources, um, PDF resources, PowerPoints, etc. So it's a fairly broad brush. Um, and I'll just show you some other OER repositories. Um, Open Michigan has a very good repository as well. Again, almost all of these will have a way of finding and searching their collection. So you can search again on discipline area here. There's this resource called OER Commons, which has got some really good uh, material as well. This has material across a whole range of, I guess, age brackets um, and has some good K-12 stuff as well. Uh, Merlo is another popular um, repository. This tends to have more of the multimedia type content, maybe flash activities, interactives, etc. And again, there's um, collections down the side and almost always there's a search area that you can search for as well. So there's no shortage of material out there. Um, I guess our challenge as educators now is to first know that these resources are there, to discover good content with, within there. But I guess what it really does is it frees us from the burden of having to produce content. And let's face it, content production requires some skills and there's such just tremendous resources out there and allows us to concentrate now on, on contextualising our learning, about building those um, resources that you discover out there back into a meaningful learning experience for students. And I think that's actually quite liberating and allows us to use our craft as teachers much more efficiently. Um, I'll just go through a few more of these resources. The Khan Academy has a tremendously broad collection. Is it 82,000 um, uh, resources in the Khan Academy? So, um, and as we scroll the sc screen down, these are largely video content and you can see just the sheer volume of them. A lot of this material is, is around mathematics, etc. So I guess um, when you're looking at resources like this, um, the, the safe rules of thumb with using resources that you discover on the internet is that it's generally safe to link to them. You're not stealing someone's copyright by doing so. And in fact, particularly with OER um, uh, resources, that's quite in the spirit of things. Um, if you need or, or wish to take a resource and customise it, it's at that point you really should look at the various licensing which I won't cover in this tutorial, but know that Swinburne has a copyright office that can advise there. And I guess I ought finish by saying that Swinburne is also, I guess, um, becoming involved in this space. We have uh, Swinburne Commons, where we have um, Swinburne resources available to the public. We've also got very large and popular collections of um, tutorial materials available through something called iTunes U, where students can download video and audio lectures and have them available to their uh, um, iPods, iPhones, etc. Um, so I think this is really exciting and I encourage you all to explore what OER has to offer for you.